Uh, we're going up to North Sister. So here we are at... We are. We are at the trailhead. We're heading up to Matthews Lake right now. Oh, look. Mount Washington. What a great view of Mount Washington. Parking lot starting to fill up. There were only a couple cars here when we got here. Serious mosquitoes. So we are ready for some serious mosquito action. Today, the lovely assistant has filled out our wildlife permit and she's taken care of that for us. So we're very thankful. So this is the Lava Camp Lake trailhead that we're heading on. This is a, I think it's 0.2 or 0.4 mile connecting to the PCT. So we'll give you a little heads up when we get to the PCT. Hiking is happiness at 60 is on the road again. Join us. Here we are at the juncture of uh, the PCT and Lava Camp Lake Trail. So this is our first PCT section. Susan will be hiking the PCT for the first time, this section. And as you can see, the burn that we were in last week this is where it ended up. It's, it was called the Substitute Burn. And we were up at Substitute Point. And this is the remainder of the Substitute Burn. It, uh, it got into the Sisters. It made its way all the way here to uh, Lava Camp Lake and jumped the road and went beyond. So we'll be in and out of this today. But we're here specifically because we were on the other side of the burn last week. We're going to be on this end of it this week. And we'll give you an idea of, of how big this burn was uh, last year. And in some respects, how devastating. And in the years to come, maybe an idea of what happens when the land starts to recover. It's quite an interesting process. Anyway, we're on the PCT. We're heading to North Sister. So, yeah, this is the last water that we'll see other than snow, body of water anyway. There'll be some streams maybe, but this is it for this hike. Let me take you around a little bit. This is a this is a good spot. A lot of backpackers come up here. We're just off the PCT. So this is a place where people through hiking will stop and get water. There's a spot over here where they get mail, believe it or not. And uh, people, friends will drop off food and different things. I've run into care packages here and there. But it's a nice little lake. You can come and camp. Again, I think there's only like six campsites here. But we are moving on. We're going higher up into the mountains. If I mispronounce something, please let me know, comments. But that cone right there you see, that's Yampuya. That's the last eruption in the line of the volcanoes in the Sisters. And uh, that's where we're headed. So we'll be riding, we'll be hiking on the PCT for a good fair distance. Great to be out. 
really awesome. We hope we inspire you in some, some small way to find your way out into nature, whatever that uh, looks like. You know, get in shape. If you need uh, any uh, advice, assistance, yeah, leave comments on our video. We'd be happy to put in our two cents, tell you what we know, share with what you share with you what we know, and uh, see if we can't all spend more time out in nature. Campsite number three. Oh, the old fire ring. So that's our goal. Inspire you to get out and do more. It is beautiful up here. Beautiful day. Hey, Susan, come on up here. Can you see Mount Hood? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see Mount Hood. Hiking is happiness, but that between that saddle between Jefferson and uh, I can't remember what that red hill's called. You can see Hood. Jefferson, Three Fingers Jack, Mount Washington. We love it. Join us. Well, hiking is happy, happiness fans. This is the PCT. So early in the year, we'll just try and make a couple improvements as we go along because lots of people are going to come through here. So, why not make a few improvements as we go? Susan and I try and make the trail a little bit better for using it. If we can. Looks like we run into a wall. <laughs> a wall. Susan, can we? Yeah, that's where everybody went back. So it looks like the trail is over here. Maybe that's why those rocks had fallen down as people were leaving the trail. Right here. Right here. After you. Use those poles, three-point stance, get them out in front of you. That's the spirit. You see those shadows on the big uh, drift there? Those are called sun cups. And this time of year, they start to uh, get this sun cupping. And it's kind of interesting as the sun moves along the snow, it starts to make little shadows. So some of it melts quicker than others. And sun cups. Quite a bit of snow up here yet. Good times. One of the things you'll note is in here, 
the lava was moving slowly and we get these pressure ridges so the lava solidifies it'll travel down into this area with a from a lava tube and then it is exposed to the air and it cools and then it starts building pressure ridges so all through this area there's one pressure ridge after another of lava that gets pushed up from the molten lava behind see there's one right there see that's a pressure ridge Good times. North Sister up ahead. Yampuya, that's one of our destinations. We'll give you some photos from up there. All in all, this is kind of a, a great time here in Oregon. The skies are clear. You can see for miles. During the summer, the haze will increase and you won't be able to see, see nearly as far. So this is a great time to be here up in the mountains uh, checking things out. North Sister. We're on the back of this ridge. I don't know the name of it. I've been on top of it. That was my intent today, but there's just too much snow. So we're coming in a different way. Some other mountains. You can see Hood quite well from here, Susan. I hope you can too. Hiking is happiness, happiness for at 60. I hope you can see it. Our diehard fans, we're out here to show you what's possible. Come and join us. Come out here. We love it, we hope you do. Interesting how nature Whatever the medium treats things the same. We're gonna see this in Iceland, and obviously we see it in the sisters, how the wind has, has created like ripples in the uh, landscape. Needless to say, it's, you know there hasn't been any water here outside of rain and snow, but yet there they are, it's plain as day. You can see the ripples. Similar sized things lined up in similar locations. And that's just a natural, look at that. That's just a natural function of a spot that gets a lot of very strong wind. And it just blows things into that configuration. We're pretty stoked. Oh, I so wish you were here with us. It is so amazing. Oh my gosh. We are so happy. It's been a fairly good trek. Uphill most of the way. 
a lot of it in snow but this is so worth it to be up here in the sisters and be able to see for pretty good distance is so wonderful we are so happy to share this with you our viewers I wish we had YouTube smell-o-vision. The smell is just amazing up here. So amazing. More North Sister. Middle sister, that round mountain is called your cone. Then we have the brother. Camp life is coming together. I am uh, melting snow. Getting some water going. And it's one of those jobs you really got to get right after. We live at 4, 000, or 480 feet elevation. We're up in, we're, I don't know, maybe 6,000 here. So it's quite a increase in elevation. And that's, uh, it really dehydrates you. So this is what camp's looking like so far. We've got a little windbreak from these trees. And then another windbreak from rocks and my metal thing for the stove. We've switched to a single use, single, uh, kind of a single person containers, lighter weight. Susan and I both have one. So I'm working those. I've changed the, to a pump. I'm pumping the water instead of letting it drain. And things are going well. I mean, if you've got snow, you're in pretty good shape. So we'll get water going and we'll eat. We'll rest and then we'll go explore and we'll show you where we are. So let's show you some of the fun things right around us. Okay, until then. Here we are. This is uh, our entertainment at the moment. <laughs> Melting snow. Melting snow and it's fun. So we're doing a little different program this week. We brought different containers. And what I've been doing is packing snow in one and letting it sit here and kind of get the snow off the outside because the stove doesn't really care for snow falling down on it. So we let the snow melt and then this is one of the reasons I like to wear gloves at camp is that I, it, not that this is hot by the way, but nevertheless I like to wear gloves. And then this bag is our dirty bag with unfiltered water. So a couple of those, bag's pretty full. And then, this pump, I've had this pump for years. Good pump, MSR. Then we just pump the water out of our gray water bag, our dirty bag. And we pump it into our clean container. Right now the, the hose is hooked onto the bottom of the bag it wants to kind of create a little suction but not bad but it works well and we have nice clean water
just about got all our containers full which means we'll have enough water for the evening and tomorrow getting out of here we do have uh, two lakes that we go by so uh, we can easily pump some water from those lakes to finish our our uh, trek no problem typically you can pump right out of a lake with this pump and it's pretty fast right now it's the, the this is hooking onto the bottom of the bag so it's not drawing water as quickly as it normally does but it's okay we're almost at the end Can you see the water? Oh, moving into the thing. See the cylinder? Just about at the end. Yeah, if I'm at the end. <laughs> 